Well, hey folks, today we have a LiftMaster half horsepower screwdrive. When you press the remote, nothing happens, and you can see the screw is not turning inside of there, not raising the door up. I'm going to take this machine down and show you guys exactly why that is happening. All right, but before you start taking it apart, you wanna make sure the travel limits are set where they need to be or somewhat close. So when you put it back together, you know, you don't have to monkey around the limits too much, just maybe a minor adjustment. I raise the door up. There's where the inner slide piece is. And when you push the remote, it doesn't move. So it pretty much broke down in the down position. So that's where you want the settings to be at when you put it all back together. So an easy way to make sure that it's in the down position is you can go ahead and just press your remote. Okay. Machine is gonna start running. You can go to the safety sensors, run your foot in front of it, and that's gonna reverse it. Light bulbs are gonna blink like something was in the way. So we know it's in the up position now. So what we'll do is hit the remote again. We'll let that guy go all the way, cycle until it shuts off. All right, it just shut off. So now we know that the limits inside the machine are set to a down position instead of an up position. You know, if you take them apart, put it back together, and you got the limits all jacked up, it could lead to another YouTube video as far as how to fix that problem. So you want to get it kind of close before you start taking it apart. I'm going to go ahead and take the opener down and show you guys what the problem is. All right, I got it down, and um, as you can see, the coupler broke. If you need one of these, just click down in the description in the link and it'll send you right to where you can get one of these at on Amazon. I'm gonna show you how to fix this real quick. So right here you wanna get a 7 16 socket. That's what I like to use. 7 16 right there. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, so now you got your socket. You wanna take those two nuts off of there. There's one. There's two. Just go ahead and pick those up because you'll need them again, obviously. There it is. Set them off to the side. Okay. So now basically, once you got those nuts off of there, you're able to pull those two bolts out. And once you take those off of there, you're able to slide this whole power head, this whole unit here, it's able to slide back. And once you slide it back, you're able to put your new coupler in here, slide it on, and uh, put it back together. So I want to get that new coupler, take these bolts out. All right here's what a new coupler looks like. Like I said, you can just click in the description down below and get you one of these. All right, so like I said, once you get those two bolts out of there, you can slide it back. And now, just like that, now you just slip that new coupler on there and then slide it back on and re-bolt it with your new coupler on. So let me slide it back, just like that. Just let it rest there for a second. It's always good to just kind of hang on to it. Always pull it back to where that, the first hole on the machine is in the back hole of the rail. That's typically pretty close. Now let's go ahead and slide this coupler in there. Slips right in there. All right, so there it is. Now I'll just slide it back in until it meets up with this guy. You may have to twist it just a little bit to get it on there. So once you got it slipped on there, just push it all the way back in. Put your bolts back on and tighten it back up. And then rehang the opener back up to the position. All right, I got it. Plug back in, hung back up. Let's go ahead and push the remote, see what happens. Hey, hey, that's how you fix a coupler. Mm. 
and this is on a LiftMaster screwdrive, old style. Model 2220, installed in 2003, LiftMaster. Thanks for following along. Peace out.